Hello. Hi. We are here from the Nurses Board Cornerstone Missionary Baptist Church, and we're here to give you some information today regarding how to prevent spread of the coronavirus. We just want to kind of go into detail and let you know what actually is the coronavirus. And it's a large family of viruses ranging from the common cold to much more serious diseases and can affect both humans and animals according to the World Health Organization. We just want to let you know that patients that have been confirmed with the COVID-19 infections have reportedly had mild to severe respiratory illness with symptoms of fever, cough, shortness of breath. Um, according to the CDC, the new coronavirus strain that causes COVID-19 is most commonly spread from an infected person to others through the air, by coughing and sneezing, close personal contact such as touching or shaking hands, touching an object or surface with the virus on it, and then touching your mouth, nose, or eyes before washing your hands. We want to talk about some ways you can prevent and treatment of the COVID-19. We want you to avoid close contact with people who are sick, avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth, stay home when you are sick, Please cover your mouth when you're coughing or sneezing with the tissue. Then make sure and throw that tissue in the trash. We also want you to clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces using a regular household cleaning spray or wipe. Now, we're following the CDC's recommendations regarding using a face mask. The CDC does not recommend that people who are well wear a face mask to protect themselves from respiratory diseases. Face masks should be used by people who show symptoms of the COVID-19 to help prevent the spread of disease to others. Now, the most commonly way to conquer this disease is by washing your hands. We are going to go into detail and tell you and show you a demonstration of how you wash your hands. While Joanne gets set up, I'm going to tell you when you should be washing your hands. You should be washing your hands after using the bathroom, before, during, and after preparing food, before eating your food, before and after caring for someone at home. Say someone is sick, they may be vomiting, they may have diarrhea. You should wash your hands after changing diapers or cleaning up a child who used the toilet after blowing your nose, coughing or sneezing, after touching any kind of animal, animal feed or animal waste, uh, after handling pet food or any kind of pet treats and after touching garbage. We're now gonna go over to Joanne where she is ready at the sink to give you a proper demonstration of how you are gonna be washing your hands. So the first thing you're going to see Joanne do is she's going to wet her hands with water. She's going to get her disinfectant there that we have 99% will kill bacteria, 99.9. .9. She's going to apply enough soap to cover all hand surfaces. Then she's going to rub the hands palm to palm. Number four, she's going to rub the back of each hand with the palm of the inner hand. And you see how her fingers are interlaced there? Fifth thing she's going to do is rub palm to palm with the fingers interlaced. Number six, she's going to rub each fingers to opposing palms with the fingers still interlocked. Now she's going to rub each thumb using rotational movement there. See how she's doing that? Then she's going to take and rub the tips of her fingers on the opposite palm in a circular motion. Then she's going to rub each wrist with the opposite hand, she's now gonna rinse her hands with the water. See how she's doing that? She's gonna use her elbow to turn off the water and then she's gonna dry her hands thoroughly with a single use towel. This hand washing technique should take about 15 to 30 seconds. You can also sing the happy birthday song. Now for your kids, we wanna make sure that they're staying happy and you're encouraging them to wash their hands. So you might want to show them how it's done and sing the happy birthday song with them as well. The next thing we're going to do is show you how to clean a surface. But before we do that, we want to talk about 
sanitation versus disinfection. Sanitation is what we do. Disinfection is what the hospital do. Sanitation is done within a short period of time, 30 seconds, whereas disinfection is 10 minutes. And um, so we are not hospitals. So example of what restaurants do, what we call sanitation, okay? They want to get the plates and bowls and everything washed and clean really fast. So what we're going to do is teach you sanitation. One of the things I do want to dispel is this is a cleanser. This is not an antibacterial um, solution that will clean germs and viruses, okay? This is the antibacterial, it's, you need to read labels. It says 99.9% .9 on it. Most of the ones say that. For example, this one right here does say that. 99.9% .9 of bacterial and viruses. Okay, the other thing you want to do if your surface is dirty, you want to wipe it first. Get the dirt off. So you wipe it. Okay, just like that. You want to wipe it to get the dirt off. Okay, and it'll dry in 30 seconds. But what you really want to do to, after you clean it is you want to spray it and let it air dry. Because otherwise you'll just be rubbing the bacteria in there. And if this is a kitchen surface, you want to rinse it with water before you put food on it. Okay. Now, just to dispel another myth, we have taught the kids that when they cough, that they should do this and cough. Well, that is a no-no in this time right now. So we want them to make sure that they're coughing into tissues and disposing of them as they cough. So make sure your child is carrying a pack of tissues if they're coughing or sneezing so that they can learn that instead of this, okay? Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Always make sure that you wash your hands as soon as you go into the house. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue and dispose of the tissue. Stay home when you are sick. Don't touch your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. And clean and disinfect objects and surfaces frequently by using a household cleaning spray or wipe. Thank you, Joanne. We want to end this presentation and we just want to touch on some points. If you have already been diagnosed with the COVID-19, we just want to tell you some things that you should do if you have already been diagnosed with it. The first thing you should do is stay home, um, expect to get some medical care. Please separate yourself from other people and animals in your home. Please call ahead before visiting your doctor. Wear a face mask, cover your coughs and sneezes, avoid sharing any personal household items, clean your hands often using the friction and using the method that we showed you. Please, that's very, very, very important. Clean all high touch surfaces every day, monitor your symptoms, and please, 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 before you discontinue any kind of home isolation, you need to be under the care of your doctor. Please do not just discontinue that isolation unless you're under the care of your doctor. We know that the information is changing day to day. You can also go online if you'd like, www.cdc.gov slash COVID-19. Thank you very much. And we just appreciate our pastor for allowing us to be able to get this information out to you. And we hope we've been of some help to you. Thank you.